consciousness was birthed and the idea of peace and freedom was awakened. That was kindergarten. The 90s are the time to bring the movement of spirituality onto the planet, not just in small pockets, but onto the entire planet. The planet is awakening all over. We travel the planet and can tell you that you have your counterparts in every corner of the globe. The team of light that you represent made sure that they covered all their bases because there are light workers everywhere. You are coming into your own. The movement towards spirituality is a movement away from materialism. Over the last number of years, many people have gotten very into their bodies, regenerating them, exercising them, and making them more beautiful. That has simply been preparation so that you could move into spirit. The realm of spirit is a very exciting place. It has more flexibility. There are places to travel and great adventures to be had, and there are no limitations. The reason physical reality has been so frustrating for you is because you bought the stories about its limitations hook, line, and sinker. You bought them because you had made an agreement to do so. It was part of your plan to buy into these limitations so that you could relate to those who have no idea about light and who have been buying into the limitations for their whole existence. You are going to electromagnetically alter the planet, rewire it, so to speak, so that all of these other beings can be plugged in once again. You can only do this if you can relate to where they are. If you had come here with your memory banks open, either you would not have wanted to stay, or you would not now understand the others. So, you have been submerged in a society that has been without light, and you have forgotten your light or vaguely remembered it as you grew up, so that you could relate to that world. Now it is time for you to integrate that world of society into the multidimensional world of light and spirit you represent, so that the values and designs of this planet will begin to change completely. Heretics are ahead of their time. The heretical ideas that come into the planet always prove to be brilliant later. So have courage. It only seems as if these new ideas are being ridiculed. You must remember that there is much activity in the non-physical realms to assist you and that even though each of you has your own blueprint and plan to evolve into, you are part of a global blueprint and a global consciousness. You are firing that global blueprint and awakening others. You awaken in waves as each of you learns to carry information and broadcast it. If everyone were awakened at once, it would be very chaotic. The awakening must happen as you are able to handle it, because putting too much light into an element that cannot handle it would blow a fuse. If the electrical currents are not matched up, the body can be destroyed. You will see this. You are going to see a disease move over the planet that has to do with the nervous system and memory, because people won't be able to handle the energy. They will become frightened of it. They may discover a multidimensional portion of themselves and think they are crazy. Then they will be obsessed with keeping their insanity quiet from their husband or wife or children. People will drive themselves into a frenzy with this energy because they won't understand it. We cannot emphasize enough that the nervous system is the key to open your ancient eyes and see and for you to remember who you are, where you come from, and where you are going. The nervous system must be able to take the electric current into the body, transduce the high energy, and fit it inside the body, and let the body evolve and nurture itself on this high energy that is consciousness. This is literally what is occurring. Since you are committed carriers of light, there is a certain opening within your auric field. There is an opening that the pillar of light brings so that guardians can come down and act as gatekeepers for how much energy you can handle. 
even though your intellect, mind, and ego may say, more, 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 the gatekeepers know that because you are a carrier of light and have committed to a certain task, you cannot be lost. Unless, that is, you are bent on your own personal destruction and you move past what is called the highest will into the will of yourself. The nervous system, which is a highway within the body, can only move at the rate you can process the data flooding over it into the cells. Many of you are still cleaning out caverns within portions of your being that have been filled with darkness. These caverns may be from this lifetime, they may go back to childhood, or for some of you, they may be from other lifetimes. Many of you have been on this journey for 25 or 30 years, while others of you have newly joined the journey. Not everyone is going to take the same amount of time. Those who have been plodding along for 30 years are way-showers. You set up a vibrational frequency that those of you who are new joiners can feel. You who are new joiners don't have to go looking for the new frequency and discover it. The mapping is done, and the mapping hits your body. You all need one another. It is imperative that you work in harmony. If you don't work in harmony, you will create Atlantis and all of the other destructions over and over again. Harmony is required. A time is coming when many of you will be put to work with spirit to broadcast frequency and assist others in comprehending what is going on. The waves of awakening will continue and spirit will become a way of being on this planet. That is the plan for this planet and the creative cosmic rays from Prime Creator are hitting the fringes of your galactic system moving here first. That is why the great gathering of energies has come here. These energies want to participate in the transformation here so that they will be prepared when it comes to their own area of galactic and universal existence. There is a huge transformation taking place, but what you do with it, of course, is up to you. We have said that your world is going to split into two worlds and that those who move with light will be in the world of light. This split is already beginning to take place. Those entities who wish to work with the higher vibratory fields that represent light and those who wish to work with the lower vibratory fields that represent fear, darkness, chaos, control, and confusion are beginning to polarize and choose sides. Even though human beings are not consciously aware of it, you know in the deepest portion of your beings that you move from one existence to another and gather experience so that your soul can understand and process data to give you a view of one reality. Someday, you will be able to scan the lives and existences of your soul and hold the energy of that soul just like you would hold a crystal, look at the different facets and sparkles within it, and feel and know that identity. When you are able to do this with your soul, your soul will be able to connect with other forms of intelligence that it is a part of but does not presently comprehend. We are stretching you. We want you to become completely confused so that you will be energized. Then you will utilize your curiosity to take you into areas that not only have you never thought of, you never even knew existed. This is our intention, that you come to a higher ground where you can create a new order of identity, courageously, with humor, and with confidence. All things are frequencies. If you knew how rapidly you are evolving, you might want to sit in a chair and put your hand over your head and say, I can't do it. There is too much going on for me. You keep the veil pulled down and pretend to go about life as if nothing is happening when you are continuously being upgraded with all kinds of changes to bring you closer to the higher dimensions. Think about and feel.